very, very long periods where you just have constant 16th notes. Yeah. Which makes it hard for memory. I don't know. Now, were you even, you were even using no. these? I couldn't move them. So, okay. Um, really good then, you know. Um, one thing to keep in mind is always know where your melody is. Now, you've got this, he's got this four note texture that's kind of just constantly spinning out, but there's really a melody within that. So, like, for instance, right here, when your left hand is playing this line on your right hand, is just repeating the same two notes. Bring out that left hand. Bring out those those melody notes. You know, we want to hear that that moving line needs to come out. Happens again right here. And, and you have the right idea right here when it's now it's on the you know yeah right there, and that was coming out just fine. But so it switches hands. So just make sure that when when that melody is in that other hand, you know, shape that, bring that out, have the right hand be required. That's hard on marimba because it's you'll naturally get more sound out of you know this much of the instrument with the same stroke as down there. So you just gotta work a little harder to get more sound out of that lower end. Yeah. Um, you know, if you, I would say you could, you could, you could slow it down a little bit at, at the 6.8, all right? I know he's got a tempo, but it, as both a way to facilitate you being able to get all those notes out without, it just sounds, it starts to sound a little bit like you're struggling. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear that you're having to work hard. I want. I want to think that this is easy for you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So back the tempo off a little bit there, so you can make that flowing nature of the piece continue. Because it was all really good, and then it just got a little bit chunky. Yeah, a little bit chunky. Exactly. Uh, a little heavy. Hard to get through. And then that idea continues. You know, same idea with with no, knowing where the melody note. It's, he's really just got this melody is right here. It's this, this note, this note, this note, this note, and then these, these. But just bring, making sure that note is coming out. Everything else is just is chordal underneath. It's just yeah. a harmony of what's happening. You guys. So just always be aware of where your melody is. And then like when he's got poco rubato, you know, you can, you can push and pull with the tempo there. That's your chance to like really make the music happen. It doesn't have to be. It can be. You know, giving weight to certain notes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the idea with it. That's sort of the end. I actually, you know, you're doing really well with your rolls. The first person today. He doesn't want to roll super fast, good. But the roll speed is nice and relaxed and slow. But they just, we gotta have more of that accuracy. There was a lot of yeah. like, the mallet was wandering from note to note. It wasn't quite staying on that note. So just make sure that when you're, you know, from here to the end was, was pretty good with accuracy. It was really just this section. You know, I know that it stays, it stays in this sixth interval. Yeah. So just, you know, have that, have that nice and set. Just make sure, even go down to just practicing one hand and then practicing the changes between each of those notes to make sure that it's just solid. Okay. Okay. Um, it just it, it started to detract from the theme. The, yeah, and it's, it's very pretty, and, but when there starts to be chromatic half step wrong on the sentence, like, Technique looks really good, good, really relaxed. Um, this isn't the best sounding marimba, yeah. unfortunately. Um, you know, I think that was kind of threw me off. I'm, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it's been throwing everyone off today. There's a couple cracked bars, and there's a oh bar that's hitting a resonator. <laughs> really? um, and so, yeah, you know, that's part of being a percussionist is playing on foreign equipment. You're going to do that all the time. And so what you can do is try to play on as many different instruments as you can. You know, play it on somebody else's marimba, play it on this marimba. Try to play some of it on xylophone. That really starts to test your muscle. <laughs> just make sure that you really have the piece memorized. You know the notes, you don't just remember the layout on that one marimba that you're playing on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
Right. So good work. Thanks for playing. Sounding good.